Hey everyone, DCB here, and welcome to another Warhammer 40,000 modboard. In this one, we are building the Primaris Chaplain. This one is from the Indominus Crusader box set. Uh, this Chaplain, of course, is inspired by the Dungeon Master of one of my games. Uh, this is John Deman, Inquisitor Chaplain, Ashen Feathers, and Spiritual Leader of the group. I will go into a bit of a lore about the chaplains during the build. So let us begin. The Space Moon Chaplains are the spiritual leaders of the Space Moon Chapters. Warrior priests, they fight alongside their battle brothers, chanting the chapter's sacred battle creeds inspiring the brethren to greater feats of bravery. To enemies, they appear as a terrifying and sinister figure in black power armor and skull-visioned helmets. Each chapter has its own unique cult, which is often thousands of years old, as these cults often predate the rise of the ecclesiarchy. The chapter cults are not simply faces of the common imperial cult. While the emissary and its lay followers worship the empire of mankind as a deity, several chapter cults regard him as merely being a brilliant and inspirational man. Though with scant less reference, as in all things, the view of the Emperor's divinity, or lack thereof, varies from chapter to chapter. The chapter's own primer is also a major part of the chapter's specific cult, revered as much as the Emperor. A formal sign of entrenchment between the Ecclesiarchy and the Space Marines is one of the Rosalius. A holy symbol, taking the form of a necklace, amulet, or brooch, which often displays the imperial eagle or the crucex terminatus, or other shapes to suit the particular devout qualities of the chapter. For example, the space wolves and the wolf iconography, gifted to space ring chaplains by the ecclesiarchy. This blessed and blessed icon represents the brotherhood of the imperial faith and formally marks the continuous religious coordination between the two groups in practice. Through the link between the organization remains rather tenuous. During the Great Crusade, the emperor specifically the outlawed religious worship of any kind, but several space marine legions still employed spiritual advisors of some kind. The first known space marine who bore a resemblance to the chaplain were members of the 17th Legion, known as the Imperial Heralds. The Legion's Heralds wore black armor with skull-faced helmets and a winged mace and delivered the Emperor's ultimatum to new worlds, mission or destruction. After the Primarch Logar joined the 17th, claiming them the word bearers, he created a role of spiritual advisors referring to them as chaplains who were assigned to minister to their brother's psychological needs. Like the Heralds, these chaplains carried a skull-faced helmet and winged mace, but individually wore the same colours as the other world bearers. They later repainted their armour black in remembrance of the ashes of Monica. Similar positions also existed in other legions, such as the Blood Angels Wardens, who served as the Watchmen of the Blood Angels, serving as mentor and guides for the younger members of the Blood Angels. 
but also charged upon upholding the laws of the Knight Legion. His duties were varied from offering a captain advice on tactical doctrine to leading a ceremony of remembrance for fallen space marines. Also, wardens also wore all black armor and carried the crucifix and the as a weapon. The salamanders also had a body of chosen, chosen legionaries who carried out the direct proclamation of the doctrines of Falcon, shaped by the center of Lothurn, called the Voices of Fire. The Iron Hands Roll of the Iron Father, which combines the portion of the chaplains and tech marines, was brought into the Legion from an order of engineering mystics who martyred the Dark Age of, Dark Age of Technology Machines on Medusa for the rediscovery of Ferris Manus. After the decree of Nakai, Loga offered his chaplain's service to other legions. These chaplains travelled among the legions to counsel former librarians who felt uncomfortable at the loss of their psychic role and eased them back into the duty as ordinary battle brothers. Many Primarchs accepted Loga's offer to use chaplains to spread to legions such as the Dark Angels, Emperor's Children, World Eaters, and the Death Guard. Other Primarchs, such as Sanguinius, declined duties being given to the already established wardens. Following the Horus heresy, the position of chaplain continued to be in both loyalist and traitor legions. Those in the traitor legions became known as Dark Apostles. Chaplains are the most well-versed in the knowledge of the chapter's cult. This knowledge is put to practical use as chaplains are responsible for the spiritual health, discipline, and faith of the chapter brethren. The bond between Marines and their chaplain is a strong one. Chaplains are present in a Marine's life from the moment they are chosen as a uh, neophyte, pressing them over their instruction as they progress to become full battle brothers. So yeah. That is a bit of the law of the chaplains, the spiritual leaders and guiders of the space moons. Which is why I have decided to make John Demand, the DM for my Dungeons and Dragons group, a chaplain. A chaplain. Uh, which is never finished now. Uh, he will be painted off screen in these two little subsections that you'll have in the body and. Um, the backpack. He will of course have the classic black armor. It's cool, but because he doesn't have a skull based helmet, I'll be doing sort of like a flesh colored well, flesh, obviously. But the shoulders, power bombs, and other bits will have the gold iconography of the ashen feathers, as well as some of the yeah, other bits from, from them. But yeah, that's that's the reason why John Durand is, uh, is a chaplain, the spiritual leader and guider of the Ashen Feathers as they continue their quest to purge the galaxy all those who would defend the Emperor and, uh, yeah, cause havoc to humankind, the stalwart defenders of their spiritual leader. Now, let's get him painted off screen for you. And there he is, all built, painted, and ready to go. John Demand, the dungeon master, and now Inquisitor Chaplain of the Ashen Feathers. There with his Croesus and his bolt gun, lots and lots of purity seals, the Book of Law, which is always very, very useful. The gold iconography of the Ashen Feathers, as well as the blue wind symbol on the chest plate, which is off there, thing, as well as the light blue robes, which I think had a bit of extra colour to bring out those blacknesses. 
Anyway, as always, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Like the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel for more. Share this video with those who you think would like it. And until the next one, this is DCB. Knowledge is power if you use it wisely.